So lately I've been trying to digitize um, everything that's not digital that my family has. Um, and so one of the oldest things I found in my dad's house is the Bentley BX11. I'll show it in more detail in a second here. Um, but this is simply an eight millimeter film projector. It has a little screen on it and it just, the film loads in up here and it projects what you have on the film. Now, <laughs> this thing came with this camera. Somebody bought this for us, for my family in like 1984, 85 or something like that. So the, you open up the camera like this and then the film roll slides down in there. Not exactly sure how it all loads because we only had two of these rolls and one of them somebody filmed with the lens cap on the whole time. Um, and the second one we got a little bit of footage on and we never got another roll of film ever again. And here's the actual box it came in. It's Kodak Kodachrome Color Movie Film Super 8 Cartridge Type A. Looks like it costs $7.63. Uh, we actually still have the manual Super 8 movie camera. This is really cool, but to try to actually find film for this thing is probably almost impossible. We got one little roll of film filmed on this thing. Uh, we watched it a few times, and then the whole thing got stashed in the closet for more than 30 years. <laughs> and I saw this at my dad's house and thought, man, I really need to somehow get the the footage off of that film and so I had to kind of relearn how this thing works. So the film, once you have it, you put it on this spool. Oh, there's the date right there. July 3rd, 1985. <laughs> That's how old this was. I was six. Um, so the film then goes on the spool right here um, and then it threads right in there. Try not to mess it up because this is a, an original piece of film here. <laughs> Thread it and then it's just going to run it all the way through here and into the take-up spool on this side. Probably one what that is those are i'm just trying to keep track of the screws i took out of here in a minute i'll explain why i took that off okay so now i've got that threaded into the take-up spool now it's funny I, I was reading in the the guide here and it tells you to turn the spool all the way clockwise and there's like a little nub on there that stops right here but it's actually been working fine with the there's an inlet right here and when i have that turn if i turn this it doesn't it, then it wants to wind all the way around here and that's just it's weird because this is going to be shut anyway so um, what i like about this old school technology it's also simple like i mean you can look at stuff and really just figure it out there's no nothing digital in here there's no circuit boards or anything and so what happens is the film so i took this off so that we can see what's going on under here but film um, you younger people don't know film is just a bunch of photos taken in succession and then run by a shutter and so then it's like animation you can see the one picture after another and so I have pictures run by here where a light shines through the film um, there's a magnifying glass to make it bigger it reflects off a mirror here goes down in there reflects off another mirror and onto the screen you just have to watch it there's no audio with this thing I'm just in motion it's like silent film and then you've got some controls on the front for vertical to to make sure your film is correct up and down this way. Just a simple on and off button. And once we turn that on, it's just gonna start, the motor starts and pulling the film right into the uptake reel. Then that's just speed, so you can make it go slow-mo. And then you could even turn it over to still and just hold the picture. So yeah, I mean, um, so when I first plugged this thing in, it wasn't working and I tried to look online to try to find some help. And all I can find is a few videos of people just showing the thing working, not saying what could be wrong. Well, like I said, this thing's very simple, and so I figured it out pretty quickly. There's a little motor right here with a gear, and when that gear turns, see this, it's like a pick, and it goes up and down, and it just reaches in, and it grabs the little, it sticks in these holes, and it grabs it and advances it forward one frame at a time. Pretty nifty, huh? Yeah, and so um, when I'm all done, I'm going to put that back. And then the way you rewind it, there's no rewind button. You do it manually. You stick this little lever in, turn it to reel it back on there. Very simple, um, and it actually works pretty good, even though this thing is more than 30 years old. I'll try to show you a little bit what it looks like. 
it's very loud because you hear the motor in there but the trouble i'm having right now is i'm kind of trying to digitize it and like there's probably a way to actually scan the film and make it digital scans i don't have access to any equipment that would do that and so like i'm really just going to hold my camera in front of the screen here and try to like digitize it on my my phone camera however there's a bright light shining in the middle there and it's kind of like you see how my lamp is doing right now it's like a white balance burst that I'm having trouble with it's funny just with my naked eyes it's not doing that and it's look actually a pretty nice little vintage picture there but when I do it try to film it on my camera even when I try to focus on different spots of the screen I'm still getting this really bright burst in the middle so if I ever figure out how to get around that I'll let you know but yeah so this is the the bent BX11 and that's how it works.